okay let's get started uh, uh, again uh, thank you so much everyone for joining today's session now uh, uh, today uh, 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 we have a uh, somya is a mark uh, part dot specialist uh, uh, and uh, she is going to give a session on introduction to part dot uh, so basically uh, uh, we have planned uh, to release a series of uh, webinars uh, uh, on part dot so this is a uh, this is the first webinar of this series and uh, we, uh, we will come up with uh, 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 again a uh, 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 set of webinars in upcoming uh, weeks uh, uh, so uh, without wasting time let's get started uh, so basically we are from new delhi salesforce uh, developer group and uh, uh, we have an initiative of impact salesforce saturday so these are some uh, hashtags or uh, these are some links you can follow us uh, on twitter uh, uh, we have uh, our uh, group uh, portal new delhi sales for developer group.com so you can uh, visit uh, our website and you can watch our previous uh, sessions uh, given by our experts in salesforce community you can follow us on facebook as well uh, so uh, just give a brief introduction of uh, uh, impact sales for saturday so basically the impact sales for saturday uh, uh, we uh, invite our speakers from uh, community was expert of uh, on different uh, technologies in sales force uh, either on part or uh, lightning or uh, other stuff uh, so uh, so our impact sales for saturday is basically um, uh, started with the, the this sales for saturday initiative uh, taken by stephanie herrera uh, in 2015 and uh, our this uh, initiative is also inspired by this uh, particular uh, initiative uh, started by stephanie herrera uh, so uh, now it's a uh, global uh, across all uh, around uh, five continents and uh, through this uh, uh, the, our sales force community will uh, enhance their knowledge by uh, getting the sessions from different experts uh, on different uh, topics, uh, either on uh, uh, it's on a part or it's a marketing cloud, it, it's on Lightning, it's on Einstein AI, and etc. Uh, so this is a uh, 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 brief of the, our initiative, and uh, now I would like Somya uh, to start uh, and carry forward the session. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Sushant and Atul for hosting me for this uh, webinar. Uh, to all our attendees, hope you all are safely seated in the comfort of your home right now. And thank you so much for taking time out for this session. And uh, my name is Somya, and I work as a sales force at Pardot Edmin. And I also currently lead a Gurgaon B2B marketers group. And you can connect with me on my social links provided here uh, on my link on LinkedIn, Twitter, and you can also follow me and my group, a uh, good B2B marketers group from the Trailblazer community group. And you can join us for any sessions or any events coming up for the event, and along with that, also with uh, the new Delhi Salesforce developer group. All right, so. I hope these sessions, the webinar sessions that we're going to organize, bring some fruitful content to you on Pardot and develop your interest in this tool. So let's roll. All right. Now for today's agenda, we have uh, following topics to be covered. So we'll be introducing you to Pardot, what exactly it is, who should be using, who are all are the end users who will be using Pardot and how it can benefit them in their business. Moving ahead, we'll also be discussing about the differences between Pardot and Marketing Cloud, and uh, we'll be uh, uh, knowing in, how, in what way Pardot is different from Marketing Cloud. Then we'll be starting with the basic terminologies of Pardot that you need to understand before moving to work and get started with Pardot, because these are some terminologies that you need to be clear with. So, and then uh, it will uh, we'll be talking about how Pardot works, what exactly is the way in which Pardot helps an, as a an, uh, marketing automation. Then we'll be discussing about how the data sync happens between Salesforce and Pardot. 
and in both the ways and then last but not the least uh, adding the salesforce connector setup to power so these are all the topics that are picked to be covered today so let's get started all right so uh, let's uh, take a little brief of the history of pardot how it all started so pardot was named as pardot llc that was a cloud based b2b marketing automation company and later in 2013 it got acquired by salesforce and now it's the pardot salesforce product for b2b marketing automation now who should use it who all are the users why it's who all what all are the businesses that can benefit from these uh, this particular product so basically if you own a business who sells to another business that is the b2b uh, marketing so in that pardot can help you automate your marketing strategies and not just that it's also going to help you to get your sales and marketing teams work together to achieve business goals and not just this moreover pardot can be used to automate lead generation and lead nurturing processes so it will help you get the leads generated from various sources and become a part of your lead nurturing process for your marketing now here you can see the sales funnel it begins with the demand generation that's uh, getting leads into your sales force when the lead shows business uh, lead shows interest in your business by interacting with your marketing materials and end up getting qualified to enter into the sales process so as you can see this uh, sales funnel this starts with demand generation then converting in, into the qualified leads then we are nurturing them into our pardot with the help of various tools available and also with the help of email marketing <coughs> sorry then we are getting the qualified leads moved into salesforce and assign them to the sales users so this is how pardot works so i hope you understand the need of pardot in delivering growth to your business right so let's explore how so as you know pardot is built on the world's number one crm platform salesforce so there comes the biggest advantage of using pardot for your b2b marketing automation because uh, you don't you do not need to integrate any uh, particular platform with salesforce there's no requirement of that it's just a connector available in pardot and you can have it installed uh, 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 you can have the pardot setup installed in salesforce and then you can connect salesforce and pardot all together and your all your marketing and sales activities can be synced so in a way it helps bring both sales and marketing guys on a common platform for both data sharing and analysis now pardot also gives you the qualified leads then help you move them faster in a sales funnel so when you have a better quality of leads available to your to your sales people the sales process get efficient and more effective for them and more easy for them to close the close more opportunities and one deals and it's not just that it is quite flexible to implement your business process through its marketing assets so there are various marketing assets available in pardot we'll just have a look at it in, in a while and uh, these all the uh, assets are going to help you build your business process more efficiently and automate them accordingly according to your business process that you are that is that is required now talking about how personalized your content can be with respect to campaigns and contents let me tell you that uh, it really helps you build a uh, dynamic content that uh, results to upgrade your customer experience and that's how you can engage with more and more customers and have have them uh, in, engage in your business and become a, a stronger prospect in the future so now while there are varieties of available tools you know there are a lot of marketing automation tools are available in the market 
so uh, they use very broad parameters to calculate the roi but on the other hand pardot captures every user interaction and hence delivers a true and accurate roi of your marketing strategy so in that way you are going to get a, a more precise and more accurate uh, roi of your business and pardot also supports account based marketing so that can be certainly like uh, to help the marketers leverage the data and speed to drive maximum efficiency and meet the need for a personalized experience for your business so this was about how you can have a how your business can be benefited if you use pardot for your b2b marketing automation moving on we will be discussing about how pardot differentiates from marketing cloud so pardot is well many of you use the terms pardot and marketing cloud interchangeably but no both of them have different characteristics and functionalities so let's see that uh, pardot it's the b2b marketing automation tool uh this product uh, this tool can be used by uh, any of the b uh, any of the companies that are working on the b2b model just like many of our it companies that deal with a particular business and uh, talking about marketing cloud uh, it works on the b2c model and all those companies all those businesses who run on the b2c model just like e-commerce fmcg and they sell directly to end users like us so for them b2c is going is is uh, more beneficial to use as a marketing automation tool other than that pardot is used for email marketing and social media marketing whereas marketing cloud it is used for email marketing social media marketing sms marketing and display advertising Pardot, on one hand, can help you in lead generation, scoring your leads based on their interaction with your marketing materials, lead assignment with or, or uh, to your sales users, sales enablement, like it's more into how your salespeople can be using your qualified marketing qualified prospects in their sales funnel, email nurture campaigns, content marketing, and webinar marketing. Talking about marketing cloud, it helps in real-time message messaging that you receive as an SMS on your phones of, of, of all those marketing messages. Then the cross-channel marketing, mobile marketing, social media marketing, display advertising, and e-commerce. Okay, so uh, Salesforce and Pardot can be aligned together. To, uh, to use your data, prospects data and on a, on a, in a same way in a common platform. For marketing cloud, it is a standalone cloud. That's like you have sales cloud, you have service cloud, you have commerce cloud. So similarly, you have a marketing cloud where you can have all your activities going on and you can manage all your data over there. Moving on. Let me quickly run you through some of the important uh, part of terminologies. As I said, it's really important to understand these terminologies and have a clarity about it. So you don't have a confusion while you're working in Pardot. So the first word is visitor. So visitor is an anonymous individual who interacts with the marketing content like your business website, your forms hosted on the website or any sort of paid search advertisements that get tracked. So you have a, a tracking code placed on your website. So in that way, whatever activities these prospects are doing or, or interacting with any of your uh, website or online digital content. So in, uh, they, they, all their activities get uh, tracked. And once we have the prospect, they have the once we have them as prospects in our Pardot database, that all crumbs of data can be used to analyze the 
uh, interest of the visitor of the of your prospect and accordingly you can manage them in your part or for your uh, email marketing or any sort of marketing uh, strategy that you are going to implement talking about the prospects these are the identified individuals that has its information in part or database they are the actual target of all your marketing activities so once they are into your part or database all their interactions with your marketing materials like content on your website clicking the url placed on it viewing hosted webinars or videos that business videos that you have on your website all of this can be tracked and this shows that how what's the potential of your of, of this prospect to become a customer because if the the prospect is more and more engaged on your digital content and they show their interest in your products or in on your business that means they, they that can be a good uh, good and strong prospect for you to be converted to your closed one business deal then accounts and opportunities they are quite similar and to what you know about them in salesforce accounts like uh, they represent the organization for your prospects and opportunities they represent the potential sales deals so the the account and opportunities data in pros in part or is uh, not editable you can just view this uh, records and the data of accounts and opportunities in Pardot, but you cannot edit them because that's controlled by salesforce whatever changes and whatever data new records are created or any changes to the accounts and opportunities records that can be done only in salesforce and you can just view it uh, according to your marketing and uh, aligning them with your prospect data in Pardot. Now, talking about the lead qualification and assignments. So, lead qualification is something when a lead becomes marketing qualified and ready for sales process. So, based on the various criteria or the parameters, let's say the lead score, the grade of the lead. So, that defines uh, if, if, like, you can set a particular criteria that if the lead is, the lead score is greater than this, that they are qualified to enter into our sales funnel. If their grade is uh, this, then you can move them to sales funnel. And now they are the actual filtered prospects that you have collected from hard out, and you can move into Salesforce as the qualified sales marketing leads where on which the sales uh, salespeople can work. Talking about the prospect assignment. So it is actually the process of assigning a user to a prospect. And this is a very important step because only the assigned prospects can be synced to Salesforce leads or contacts records. So if you if your prospect is not assigned to any of the user in Pardot, then they cannot sync to Salesforce as lead or contact record. So before that, you can eat either uh, manually uh, assign a user to them or you can use the automation for assigning a user to them with the help of automation tools, completion actions or segmentations and uh, other stuff. You can uh, assign user to a prospect and you can move them to uh, once they are assigned in uh, pro once they are assigned in Pardot, you can move them to Salesforce. Now talking about the campaigns, so you all might be aware about the Salesforce campaigns. They are the multi-touch uh, multi interactions of your user uh, in, and uh, Salesforce campaign tracks the uh, customer interaction throughout their journey into, the, into your database. So whatever um, assets they are accessing or whatever digital content they are accessing. So based on that, uh, Salesforce campaign is all about that. But if you talk about Pardot campaigns, they are just the first interaction. They just track the first uh, Pardot prospects first interaction with your website or any of your data that is available on on the internet. So, all right. So now that we have understood the basic terminologies of Pardot. 
let's move ahead and see how Pardot works. I hope you all are clear with the terminologies. If any queries, you can just reach out to me with this. But that's very simple. All right. So how Pardot works? Let's say you have an anonymous visitor coming to your website or through any of the content available on the uh, on anywhere on the web, just like uh, they can reach out to your website via Google search or from any of the social media platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn, any link placed on the social media, or they can directly uh, put the you put your companies on your website's URL in the search box and land to your website. So now once they come to your land into your website, you have the tracking code placed on the web on the back end of the website that tracks all the visitors activity. So whether they are clicking on a particular link that is placed on the website, they are downloading any of your uh, content or any of the files that are available to be downloaded from the website or if they are viewing your content and if, uh, multiple contents that are available on your website. So in that way, you can see the engagement of your visitor and collect all that uh, data in the form of the browser cookies that you are tracking. And then and you have, let's say that you have a form hosted on your website that is being uh, that is being filled by a prospect with their personal details, like their name, their company details, their email IDs, so their phone numbers, which you can use to communicate and uh, uh, you can engage them with your in your in marketing campaigns. So if they provide you the their email address, so in part of email address is considered to be a unique identifier of any prospect. So once they have provided their email address to you, they come into your database and you can uh, use them for any of your marketing campaigns for sending emails or engaging them in any of your marketing strategy that you have built. So this is how an uh, anonymous visitor moves from being an unidentified individual to an identified individual in Pardot. So moving on, we'll be discussing about the sync behavior between Pardot and Salesforce, how it actually works. So you can see a flow diagram of the sync that's uh, from Pardot to Salesforce. So let's say you have a prospect in Salesforce that has to be moved to Salesforce. Uh, sorry, you have a prospect details in Pardot and you need to move it to Salesforce. So for that, uh, let's say that you have a visitor data converting into a prospect in a Pardot. So before moving into Salesforce, as I told, they need to be assigned to a user queue or group. So if the prospects are assigned to a user queue or group, they can move to Salesforce. And if not, then you need to uh, manually or, uh, or uh, with the help of automation assign a and assign a user to a prospect. And then uh, once we are uh, once we are the, sure about the prospects being assigned, we can check for various uh, scenarios in which the sales in which the prospects data will map or sync with the Salesforce leads or contacts. So first of all, if the prospect is moving to Salesforce, it will check for the contact record. And uh, on the contact record, if the email address is same as that of the prospect, then it will sync with the, con the Salesforce contact record. And if not, then it will check for the lead record for the email address. And uh, if the email address of the lead record in Salesforce is similar or I mean, same as the prospect's record, then it will sync with the Salesforce lead record. And if there are multiple, uh, if there are multiple lead and contact records in Salesforce and with uh, in Salesforce, then in the pros Pardot's prospect will sync with any of those uh, lead or contact record randomly. So that will that will need to be checked for that. 
And if there is no lead or contact record available in Salesforce with that particular email ID, then Pardot will create a new lead record in Salesforce. So this is how the same behavior works between uh, Pardot and Salesforce from they are moving the prospects data from Pardot to Salesforce. Moving ahead, we'll discuss about the sync behavior between Salesforce to Pardot. So let's say that you have a lead record in Salesforce or a contact record in Salesforce and you have to move them to uh, Pardot. For that, uh, you need to uh, check for, uh, there actually there are multiple ways in which you can move. So the very first option that you have is that uh, you can do it manually. Uh, on the lead and Salesforce, on, on the lead or contact records in Salesforce, you have the send to Pardot button available. So uh, you can just manually click that button and the, and the leads data or the contacts data will get moved to, uh, to move to Pardot as a prospect. Another one is by uh, this, uh, there's a connector setting that uh, is available in Pardot that needs to be checked. Uh, that is automatically creating prospects in Pardot if they are created in Salesforce. So this connector setting is to be enabled. If you have enabled the both ways sync, that's the Pardot to Salesforce and Salesforce to Pardot. So this setting comes under Salesforce to Pardot uh, sync of data. So if you have enabled that, only then uh, the data leads or contacts data from Salesforce will move to Pardot. Otherwise, it won't. It won't sync with the Pardot data and it will just sync in one way that is from Pardot to Salesforce. So you need to check with these connector settings. A lot of options are available there. So uh, from that, you'll have to check with that. Apart from this, you can also import your leads or contacts data uh, directly into the prospect of the uh, prospect list in the Pardot. So, yeah, these are all the options available for uh, syncing the data between Salesforce to Pardot. I hope you are clear with this process. If any questions, you can ask. All right, so it's now it's about uh, we have understood about how Pardot works and how what all are the terminologies, what's the sync behavior between Salesforce and Pardot. Now we'll be discussing about how to set up the Pardot and how to connect Salesforce and Pardot together. So that's the one main point that has to be kept in mind is that only one CRM connector can be present in uh, Pardot. Like uh, if you have, uh, you cannot connect multiple uh, Salesforce in, uh, or orgs with uh, a single Pardot instance. You can just have one CRM connector to Pardot. So for that, yeah, you uh, let's say you have a Salesforce account. For in that, you'll have to install an app exchange package to Salesforce. Uh, here's the link provided, and you can uh, just go go to this link, and uh, you can have the package installed in your Salesforce. So once you have installed this package into your Salesforce, you will be provided with a lot of Pardot, custom, Pardot uh, specified uh, custom fields and uh, various objects, special permission sets that are need to be assigned to the users of uh, Pardot, uh, users enabled to work on Pardot. So all these things comes along with this package to your Salesforce, just like other app exchange packages that you have uh, downloaded from uh, the app exchange then once uh, now that you have these uh, special uh, fields and uh, objects that are to be tracked in salesforce so for that you need to add these special fields uh, to the uh, lead and contact page layouts so that you have the information visible on your lead and contact record so these are all the Pardot specified specific, uh, specific fields. <clears throat> Sorry. So then uh, the last step would be to connect your Salesforce with the Pardot instance. And for that, you need to go to the Pardot and move to the connector setup. And uh, you will see. Yeah. So these are all the options available to 
connect your Salesforce with Pardot. Uh, these are the connector uh, options that are available that you need to enable based on your requirement. If there's anything that you do not want to enable, you can just disable it from here. And if there's anything that uh, the data that you want to move and how the data should work uh, between Salesforce and Pardot, how it should be enabled, should behave. So for that, uh, you can have these settings available. So there is this, as I told you, automatically create prospects in Pardot if they're created as a lead or contact in Salesforce. So for that, you need to check this uh, option. Then you have automatically change email address in Pardot to reflect changes in Salesforce. The next is uh, automatically delete or merge prospects if the corresponding records in Salesforce are deleted or merged. Exclude Salesforce partner and customer portal users from prospect assignment. The other you have is automatically match Salesforce users to Pardot users. This option is also available on your uh, Pardot. I'll show just I'll just show it in the Pardot instance and allowing editing of prospects list within the CRM. Then email logging, email notifications, how you want to uh, how you want to add them in your Salesforce and Pardot. So yeah, this is about the connector preferences. And uh, there are uh, multiple prospect activities that cause uh, sales prospect records to move to Salesforce. And uh, that can be the form submission, that can be the form handler submission, that can be the landing page submission, or if a prospect is unsubscribing from receiving any emails for the, or, or, or any of your emails with, uh, regarding any of your campaigns. So some of these activities will help the, pros, uh, will make changes into the prospect record of uh, Pardot. So this will lead to the syncing of prospects to uh, Salesforce because uh, Salesforce and Pardot, uh, it check, keeps checking for change every two minutes. So for in every two minutes, if there's any change in your prospect record or in your contact and lead records in Salesforce, so that data will get synced uh, after every two minutes. So, if, and if you are loading a lot, uh, a large amount of data in your uh, Salesforce or Pardot, then you'll have to hold for a, a little time to get all those data synced between both Salesforce and Pardot. Also, there are several user actions that cause prospect records to queue for syncing. And uh, that can be if you're importing any prospect and if you are uh, doing any of the activities among these. So that can be if the prospect record is getting imported manually or if a prospect, there's a change in the prospect field that can be uh, opt, opting out of the prospects via import or manually if you are uh, making any changes to the prospect fields. Then if there is any change in the Pardot campaign and uh, if uh, the assigned user of the prospect is getting changed, also manually syncing from the prospect record. So these are the activities if uh, you are making any changes to the prospect records in Pardot. Now, there can be system actions as well for uh, that leads to the syncing of data of the prospect and that can be any of the record changes that occur because of an automation rule or a completion action, let's say you have an automation rule that is uh, leading to a change in the record of the prospect, or if there is if you are uh, signing any of the actions in uh, completion action to make any of uh, any updates to the prospect record. So in that uh, in that scenario also, there will be uh, syncing between Pardot to Salesforce. Apart from that. Uh, there is also add to Salesforce campaign action available in Pardot. So this can be uh, changed. This can be updated via any of the automation rule or the segmentation rule or completion action, or if you're running any engagement program in Pardot. The next system action that can be uh, that can lead to data sync between Salesforce and Pardot 
can be the change in campaign status and that's again via completion action or uh, automation rule segmentation rule and engagement program so basically you might be not aware of the process automation this this term in terminology is automation rule completion action segmentation rule engagement program all these are the process automation methods that we use in pardot so we'll be discussing about this these uh, 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 automation rules that are uh, like process process automations that are available in Pardot in the upcoming webinars. So now let's move on to Salesforce Pardot and see that how Pardot is visible. So this is the sales Pardot classic uh, UI as you can see. So uh, you can uh, once you have the Pardot enabled and so connected a setup successfully, you can have this option available here as a tab. Or if you don't find it here, you can just click on the app launcher and you can choose for the Pardot uh, app, app from here. As you can see, these are the uh, options available in uh, as tabs. So the uh, under this marketing tab, you can find the automation options, like as I told, automation rules or page actions, the calendar where all your tasks and uh, all your uh, prospects information, any of the tasks or meetings that are assigned aligned to the calendar, the campaigns, the Pardot campaigns, the content where you are managing all the contents uh, of your marketing uh, pro marketing. Uh, steps so that can be any of the custom redirects you can have dynamic content or you can add them as a, a, if you have a pdf or any of the files you can add it here then you have the emails for email marketing you can have them saved as drafts you can have them uh, as saved as templates and from here you can create all the email part that you uh, email marketing part stuff that you do in pardot this is the engagement studio this the uh, process automation platform tool that is available in Pardot. So we'll look uh, into this in the next, in the upcoming webinars. This is a form, uh, forms uh, that are the Pardot hosted forms and the form handlers that we are hosting on the third party websites. So we'll be, we'll be discussing these also in the upcoming webinars. The landing page, the search marketing, the keywords, competitors or the page search, the segmentation, the list of the prospects into list, the rules based on which the segmentation, the tags that you're providing to your prospects and the profiles of the uh, users. This is about the social media marketing and uh, moving on to the prospects, we can see there's a prospect list. So Here you will have all the prospects uh, since this is a training org. So we do not have any prospect over here. Uh, we will uh, have, we'll have to create them here. So if uh, you have any prospects in your Pardot, you can find it all over here. There are the filters available. And uh, these are the options that you can be, select from here for viewing the prospects based on if they're active, they are assigned prospects or if they are never active prospects, or if they are just uh, the prospects that are not in Salesforce and just in Pardot. You also have the reporting available in Pardot for campaigns, connected apps. There can be a lot of connected apps for which you can have the reporting done in Pardot. Then the conversions, lifecycle, marketing assets, any of your email, if you want to report on any of your email, and uh, forms, landing pages, Opportunities, you can, as I said, you can just view, you cannot edit any of the opportunities. So you can have the track the ROI of all the opportunities uh, in Salesforce to Pardot. Then you have the admin setting available over here. You have the automation settings where you can set uh, the scoring of your prospects and also the filters for the visitors. These are the connectors. So here we'll see. The various connectors that you can have into your Pardot instance. So currently, uh, this is the uh, available 
connector in Pardots, the Salesforce connector and the LinkedIn connector. And uh, you can add any of the connectors from here that are available in Pardot. And uh, if there is no any connector available, then you can have the have them uh, connected with Pardot with the help of the API integration. So you also have uh, to configure fields of account opportunity and prospect. You can create uh, the custom fields in uh, Pardot and you also have some default available prospect fields, opportunity fields that can be synced to Salesforce and accounts. And uh, you have the custom objects available on which you can work and you can sync that uh, data from here to Salesforce. You can have the exports of the of the records that you have here in Pardot. You can import the prospects from here. You can also view the prospects or any of the data from Pardot available in the recycle bin. You can uh, from security, you can change the security settings for your Pardot. And this is a user management where from where you can manage all the users that are available in your Pardot. So and if you want to know about your sales uh, like Pardot organization details, so from here you can view all the details that are related to your Pardot account. And if any changes are required to it, see uh, from here you can change any of the details or you can uh, check for these settings available here. All right. So this is all we have here and we can uh, we'll one by one take up all these topics for discussion in the upcoming webinars and we'll understand how exactly this tool works in the B2B automation. And this is the very first dashboard page that you will land into when you're uh, opening the Pardot app. So here you'll get the details and the reporting on what all the other prospects created in the, in the given time that you have specified here, the date range that you've selected, the conversions that have taken place on based on your marketing assets that you have, like uh, the based on the campaign interaction uh, and the campaign interaction on the landing page or on the forms or on the emails opportunity is created and all that data then you have the marketing calendar where you can create new event or you can have the available track the available uh, tasks or events that you have in, on the uh, marked on the calendar and you can view the active prospects for the review whatever uh, their prospects actively going into the Pardot and yeah so that's it that's all about the basic and introduction to Pardot so if you have any questions we can take up Uh, Somya, uh, you can take up the questions that people have posted in the window. Again, everybody, right. usually as part of these sessions, everybody is going to remain silent. Uh, but yeah, you can take up the questions on from the window from top to down and uh, start answering those questions. And again, guys, if you have any questions, please type them out in the window. Make sure everybody can see your questions. All right, so I can see the very first question that's coming up is like, is Spardot free or similar to a free developer org where we can learn? So it's a limitation for Spardot, so it's a no. There's no free uh, training or org or developer, develop any training environment that's available for practicing. So if you have a Spardot in, uh, license, then you, along with that, you get a training environment where you can uh, practice all this uh, stuff or related to Pardot and other than that, it's just not available. 
Any other question? Okay, so another question is from Sudeep. What are the career opportunities in Pardot? Does it require through knowledge of Salesforce? So no, I don't think you need a, need to know a lot of about Salesforce. You can just have a basic understanding about the uh, uh, sales cloud, and uh, you can you are good to go with Pardot uh, just because it's an independent marketing plat uh, it's an independent marketing platform. So it does not require a lot of understanding of Salesforce how it works. Just uh, about the marketing. Uh, that's the, what ex that as I told you about the terminologies. If you understand that, and if you understand how the marketing uh, processes is processes are, so in, that would be enough, I think. Another question, as I can see, is what is Pardot from technical point of view in Salesforce? So uh, in Salesforce, you are, uh, if, if I talk about Pardot to Salesforce, then you get the marketing qualified, a quali good quality marketing qualified leads from Pardot to Salesforce. As in Salesforce, you know that sales salespeople are working on the leads to convert more and more of those leads into uh, one or closed deals and opportunities. So in that way, uh, we are getting a more filtered um, uh, data from Pardot into Salesforce, and uh, there's not any chunk of data that's coming in, and uh, that can be that can lead to more of the closed, lost opportunities or the deals. So you get to work on a more better quality leads in Salesforce. I hope that answers your question. Uh, I can see one more question. I'm a fresher in Salesforce domain and certain certified admin. Can I learn Pardot as a fresher or can I take some time to learn Pardot or is it good for experienced people? So I think uh, you can obviously go and learn Pardot as you have uh, a lot of stuff available by Pardot itself. There are a lot of training modules and on Trailhead, it's available. It's also available in the form of uh, videos and webinars that we keep posting a lot. Apart from that, we also have a lot of blogs available to learn Pardot. But uh, other than this, for hands-on experience, I'll say there's not any uh, any any other org or something available where you can practice. So uh, if you have a training environment available, you can get get it from anywhere. So yeah, you can you can learn. And it does not require a lot of uh, like experience working on Salesforce. As I can tell, I myself started uh, working on Pardot uh, without uh, having a very good experience working into Salesforce. So uh, I don't think that's required. Is Pardot a com competition for Google Analytics? So not exactly. Uh, Pardot is something where you can uh, automate any of your business process that uh, that works under B2B model. So uh, for you can have to uh, track your marketing activities in Pardot, but uh, talking about the entire analytic and analyzing your the data, so Pardot is not the right tool for analytics. Can we customize the sync behavior from Pardot to Salesforce or vice versa? Because as per our business requirement, like instead of email, can we use phone number or address? So actually, uh, uh, there is uh, what happens is that there needs uh, it's for every database that there needs to be a, a unique identifier on based on which the data can be managed in the database. So uh, in, in, the, in, in a unique manner. So like in Salesforce, we have the Salesforce IDs for all of the Salesforce records. So similarly in Pardot, it is uh, the email addresses. And uh, you can also have different multiple uh, prospects with the same email address in uh, Pardot. And that is that is something different and it behaves a little differently. So, yeah. Can Pardot communicate with MuleSoft AnyPoint platform? Um, I'm not sure about this. If anybody else can answer to this question, so it would be good. So 
similar products to Pardot, Salesforce using or this is the only app. So if, as I told you, if it's about B2B marketing, then we can use Pardot. And if it's about B2C, like business to customers, the, the businesses who are running on the B2C model, they can be using Marketing Cloud. So that's an entire whole stuff available for marketing of, in Salesforce. Another question that is that can we embed click tracking links in Pardot email? So yes, uh, if you have any of the link that is available in your email uh, that you have placed in the email, so that can be tracked. And if anybody or any of your prospects who has shown their interest and clicked that email and went to a particular uh, went to a particular landing page, that activity is also tracked in Pardot. So I can see no more new questions coming up. Anyone else with any question? I cannot see any new questions coming up again. Can you please share the deck? Yeah, the slides will be available post this webinar session and also the recording of the session. Yes, uh, you can get all uh, the session details regarding uh, the PPTs as well as uh, 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 this video session. Uh, you can uh, you, you just have to go to this new Delhi sales for developer group dot com and you can get all the details uh, and all the data from this session. So I think we are done with uh, all the questions. Thank you so much, uh, Soumya, for this awesome session. The session was very informative and. Uh, uh, me, me as an individual also <laughs> learn the part dot uh, and know the basics of part dot. And again, guys, uh, uh, this is our first uh, uh, webinar of this part dot series. And trust me, you can learn a lot in uh, about the part dot in our upcoming sessions uh, in in future. So just uh, follow. Um, so you can see on the screen. You just have to follow all these links and. Uh, uh, keep uh, uh, close contact with these uh, links so, so that you, you can cannot miss uh, our upcoming sessions on this Pardot series. Uh, uh, and that, stay tuned. Yeah, exactly. And again, uh, that was a very great session. And I think our audience was quite awesome. They have asked a lot of questions. And again, they're, they're, both, they're most interested in this part, Pardot. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much guys for your time and uh, for joining today's session. Mm, we will uh, keep co connected in future as well with our coming sessions. Thanks all. Have a great day. Thank you everyone. Yeah. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye all.